Hey guys, Swanton Girl again. I just wanted to do this quick video um, about my predictions for Money in the Bank this Sunday. I was going to do this tomorrow but um, I'm way over the weekend so I won't get a chance to film it. So I'm going to do it now for you all. Um, I've seen a lot of other Money in the Bank video predictions and um, yeah, um, I agree with a lot of them And I, but I just want to give my own view and stuff. Um, don't worry, I'll be quick and my phone's just buzzed. Hold on. That's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's running out of battery. That's probably what's buzzing. But let's see. Um, first match I have here on my sheet is the Raw Money in the Bank match. Um, I haven't heard of most of these matches. I've been quite out of tune with WWE at the moment. Um, just because I've been running about like hell this chicken trying to get everything sorted. Um, for stuff and... Oh, oh. Yeah, um, I've been out a lot and I'm going to see Harry Potter tomorrow so I'm more concentrating on than on WWE on the pay per view I won't be able to watch on Sunday that I'll probably have to find out the results for Monday. Um, but yes, Money in the Bank matches. I love Money in the Bank matches. They are my favourite kind of matches. I love them every WrestleMania. I absolutely adore them. Um, so I can't wait. I will be purchasing this DVD when it comes out and I hope that the results will just be to my liking and stuff. Um, so Raw Money in the Bank match is the first match I have down my sheet. It's involving Rey Mysterio, Alberto Del Rio, Kofi Kingston, Alex Riley, R-Truth, The Miz, Evan Bourne and Jack Swagger. My thoughts, right I'm going to give who I want to win and who I think should win. I think I'll level it out a wee bit. Um, who I want to win, of course I'm going to go for Evan Bourne. I think Evan Bourne has been deserving a good push recently and I think um, I'd love to see him win, I would really, but um, apparently McMahon has um, a bit of a, I wouldn't say, oh what's the words, I can't think of the words today. Um, I'm going to use thing because I can't think of the word in my mind. Oh, the one I proportion. Um, has a bit of a thing against Bourne about he doesn't want to push him and stuff. Stephanie does, but Vince doesn't. I don't care. I think he should be pushed. I think he was is one of the best high flyers athletic ones they have in the business at the moment, and that he should he deserves his spot to shine. But um, that's who I want to win. Who I think will probably win. I don't know, because the whole R-Truth thing, that was supposed to be a thing, and then the CM Punk thing is just blew out of the water, so R-Truth has sort of got buried a wee bit. So I think it could maybe be R-Truth, I'm just going to circle it on my sheet here, see. I think maybe R-Truth could possibly win to continue his storyline with, with Cena after Punk and him have let their thing go. Um, Ray, I don't think they'll give it to Um. Kofi, mm, I don't, they might let him win just because he's been in so many. I don't think Alex will ring, win and I don't think Miz will win. I just think they're put in there just for fillers. I think they'll probably have a big rivalry in the middle of that ladder match and do something. Um, Bourne and Swagger are probably just fillers as well because Swagger hasn't been doing anything. So I don't actually see how he got into this match but um, I don't think they will. Um, Ray, I said no. So it's between Alberto, Kofi and R-Truth. I think, I think either of those three will win. But, see those people have been saying Alberto. Because he's supposed to be getting pushed. But I'm going to go for R-Truth just because he had the whole story down with Cena. And it got blown, I do it got blown up on our trifle, Jimmy on that. Um and then all of a sudden Joe CM Punk had his big rant, which I'm not saying is bad. I love CM Punk, his rants are amazing. I don't care wherever the ratings have dropped since he has done these rants. I still think he is the best in the world of what he does and I think he is the best wrestler in WWE. Um I don't think he should leave, but I know he's gonna leave. But I don't think he should. I think he should stay. I, um, I want to see him at WrestleMania next year, but uh, alas, I don't think he's gonna be there. Um. But yes, um, our truth simply 
because of the fact that he had started a feud with Cena before CM Punk and I think they will might continue that feud but I'm not sure because of the George we've got, got by Jimmy but we'll see so my money's on our truth or Alberto but I'm gonna go for our truth in this video simply because of that okay Smackdown Money in the Bank and um, we've got Kane versus Sin Cara versus Daniel Bryan versus Wade Barrett versus Cody Rhodes versus Justin Gabriel versus Heath Slater versus Sheamus right a lot of people in this match Kane obviously because he's been Money in the Bank he won Money in the Bank last year I believe didn't he? I think he get, went on the win. Sin Cara, pretty new. He, I don't think he'll win. I'm going to say that right now. I don't think he'll go win. Same with Daniel Bryan. Um, did they even have qualifying matches for this this year? I haven't really been in tune. Um, Daniel Bryan, I think he's still a bit too... I don't know. I, I just can't see him winning Money in the Bank. Mm. So no, I'm going to cross him out. Wade Barrett. As someone else said in their video, I have a funny feeling his tone on stuff attitude. I'm picking this up too. Justin Gabriel and Heath Slater are in there. They're supposed to be broken up with Wade Barrett. I read somewhere, this is somewhere about Justin Gabriel versus Heath Slater for something. I don't know whether it was a hometown match in South Africa. Or whoever is doing one of the house shows in Australia or whoever is just a dark match here. But yeah, of course broken up so I can, don't really know why. As much as I love Justin Gabriel and Heath Slater, I think they're there to support, well not support but you know what I mean, just either they're there to get back together with Wade and help him win the belt or the briefcase, sorry, not the belt. Or they're there to prevent Wade getting the belt and that will start a whole big feud between them. I hate how WWE has buried Wade Barrett and a lot of the other talents such as the next one, Seamus. I know I have this soft, soft, soft spot for Seamus because I've met him, I've talked to him um, and he's from Ireland which is down south from where I live. But um, he was pushed so much in the last couple of years. He won WWE Championship. He was up there. He was battling John Cena, Randy Orton, all those ones. And look, what's happened? Another case of WWE pushing a guy way too quickly than what they're supposed to and then just dumping them and making them do this person that we don't even know. So um, I could um, say I don't think Cain will win again. But I think he'll be really good in this match. Um, I hope he does very well in this match. Rose, I nearly forgot Cody Rhodes. I love Cody Rhodes. Um, unfortunately, I don't see him winning this match as much as I love Cody Rhodes. I don't see him winning. He would probably be my pick for who I wanted to win just because I love him that much. I really do. Oh, it's awful. It's like a flipping obsession. Oh. Um, Rhodes, yeah, definitely. Um, Ted DBLC might come out and help, but I don't, I really don't. I'd love to see Cody Rose in the main event just because I think he's really worked hard. I think he does deserve to sort of get pushed up maybe a little number level from what he's doing. But definitely, I see Seamus winning this match. Um, with the whole feud going on with him, Christian, and Randy, I, I could definitely see Seamus winning the money in the bank. Maybe, um, then going on to cash it in there in the night on either Randy Orton or Christian whoever wins that match. But um, Seamus for um, My Money in the Bank Smackdown pick. Next we have Kelly versus Brie Bella. Um, hopefully, um, well the video, the Davis Division video that I just recorded will probably not upload as quickly as this so it'll be after this. But as I said, um, Davis Division, um, I'm hoping that they allow the girls to put on a good decent match in this because it is pick free match, it's not just a raw SmackDown match or a Superstars match. Um I'm still gunning for because of a bit of thing against the Bell twins, I don't know why, but um Kelly Kelly. I'm hoping it wins this match. Um I really want to see some better moves in the Davis match. I hope 
There's some surprises, some actual wrestling might be nice in that one. Um, but yes, Kelly is my pick for to win the match for the Thieves Championship. Hope she keeps it. Hope they don't take it off her. Um, but there probably will be some Nikki interference in that. Um, John versus Punk. Well, this is a hard one to call because we all know if Punk wins, John Cena is fired. If John Cena wins, Punk leaves with like the belt. Um, I would like to see Punk win and Punk leave with the belt just because it's Punk and I think it would be very good um, to see him leave him with the belt one last time in his hometown. But of course, um, Vince would probably win and let his poster boy be fired. Um, or Cena would probably just come back like he did when he was fired with the whole Nexus angle. But I think John Cena is going to win this unfortunately because I don't think Vince will let Punk leave with that belt after the whole um, screw job with Bret Hart because he was leaving WCW and he was champion at the time Vince felt like if he let him leave with that title it's going to get thrown in the trash or it's going to be shown another promotion either there's going to be a new screw job happening in Chicago with um, Punk which would be quite scary because the Bret Hart screw job was in Montreal which is where he was from Joe in Canada um, so either there could be a new screw job um, or Punk's gonna leave without the belt unfortunately which I think is quite sad because I would love to see him leave with the belt one last time um, but I, I really don't think Vince is gonna let Punk go over Cena and then Cena be fired unless Cena's taken time out but um, I don't think that's too, I think it's too good to be true to believe that Punk's gonna leave with the belt and Cena's gonna be fired so unfortunately my pick for that had to be John Cena um, Big Show first Mark Henry it's just a match thrown in there um, I'm going to pick Henry just for the fact that um, We've all seen this whole thing between Big Show and Mark Henry and Big Show's injury so I'm just going to go for Henry just for the fact that Big Show is seemingly injured and I can't make much more out of that match. It's probably going to be one of those big giant matches and I've seen a lot of them before. Um, finally my ma last match is Orton versus Christian. Mm. It's a hard one because I like both guys. Um, I would like to see Christian win just because I'm such a peep um, because I marked out when he returned to ECW um, but again we all know that Christian only had the belt for two days and it was taken straight off him which I got very annoyed at as well um, don't know why they don't want to, Vince doesn't want to push Christian, he's been there for gosh knows how long. Um, Joey only won the belt because it's the police edge or something or do something like that. I would like to see Christian win because it's a ladder match and that's one of his specialities. But go and go for Orton because Orton's the face of Smackdown and that will probably lead into another Orton Sheamus feud if Seamus wins Money in the Bank. Though it could go, I would like to see it. Christian, I think this is really bad for me saying this after, I'm probably being such a hypocrite now saying this, but um, I could see maybe them giving Christian the win for Smackdown Money in the Bank. Orton maybe RKOing him or attacking him or something. And then Seamus, if he wins the Smackdown Money in the Bank, cashing in his money in the bank on a beaten down Christian and once again taking the belt off him and that will be the shortest probably reign for Christian again. But that's just my thoughts guys. <laughs> that's all my thoughts. Um, so yes, my picks for all money in the bank I think our truth is going to win. Um, Smackdown money in the bank Seamus I think is going to win. Um, Kelly vs Brie Bella. Kelly Kelly I hope wins. I hope they put on a good match for him. My sake for me, just um, talking about the whole Flippin' Divas division there in my last video. Um, John Cena vs Punk, 
I love Punk to Win, but I think John Cena is going to go out with the win. I hope there's a screw job. Not for Punk's sake, do I'd hate for a screw job for the way Punk to leave, but um, I wonder if they're going to do a screw job. Because it's so like the Shawn Michaels Bret Hart thing, you know. Big Show vs Mars Henry. It's just a match shown in there. I don't really care about that one. Um, Henry win. That's my pick. And then Orton versus Christian. I believe Orton's gonna win, but something's gonna happen with Christian. If Christian does win, something's gonna happen, such as the cash in on the money in the bank. But um, thanks for listening, guys. Um, where's my phone? In this one, I'll just do a quick few shout outs because I reached over 100 subscribers. Actually, I'm gonna do. Um, Someone's about to interrupt me. So I'm actually going to do it in my next video, which is going to be my 100 subscriber, uh, 100 subscriber party. I'm just waving my hands back and forth because I'm feeling fist pump. Woo. 100 subscribers, guys. Thank you. So I'm going to do um, a video for that next. But until then, I shall see you soon. And um, big news, hopefully next week. But um, I'll have to wait and find out what that is. So, um, thanks guys for listening. I know you're probably all bored stuff with all these really long videos. Um, but um, thanks for watching anyway. And hope you all enjoy Money in the Bank on Sunday. And may the best guys win. Thanks guys. Bye.